it did turn to nighttime right now, which is good. We have all night time to do the Eye of Cthulhu boss battle, so definitely don't need to like rush over there and do it right now, right? So let's actually go over here and let's uh let's turn off our bar or ores into bars. So silver, that's gonna be 12. So let's put that over here. It'll automatically stack back up uh when we hit that button. But silver, we got a pretty good amount. So 18 bars right there, nice. We got some gold too, so boom. And 12 gold right there. So how many do we, we have 32? We can make a gold chest piece right now, which would be how much armor rating? Like four or five or, or no, we can't. Uh, hold on. How many do we have? We have, yeah, we have 32. Is it like 35 or something? Or maybe a gold one is like special because I can make gold greaves, which is oh almost. Wait, no, I guess. Man, the helmet's 25. The the boots are 30. I guess, yeah, the, the gold chest piece is 35, probably. Sheesh. Because the iron one, the chest piece is 30. The silver, the chest piece was also 30. So I guess gold just requires more in general than, huh? Sheesh. But at least, uh, that's four, that's four. And, uh, if we get, uh, the chest piece, which is probably going to be five. Oh, God, the falling star just land on something? I think it did. Cause I just heard like a splat <laughs> right when that thing hit the hiking ground. I think I killed that rabbit out. Did you guys see that bunny out there? It's like dead now. I think that's, I think it actually landed on that again, bunny. But I think, uh, I think our roof is always going to have owls up there. So that's kind of cool. Because we have two of them right now. So that's interesting. But, uh, we can make, uh, can we make any ingots out of the crimtain? Oh yeah, we only got one crimtain during that, golly. So I guess we'll put that up. Put up the uh, silver bars. Put up the four sapphire, which is a decent start to our collection. And sort the items. There you go. That way they stack up. And yeah, we have 32 gold bars. How much silver do we have now? Yeah, we've got 39 silver. So yeah, we're, we're actually starting to build that silver back up, you guys. Sheesh. Uh, which is good, because now we have a full set of silver armor, uh, which I'm not wearing right now, which I definitely will wear, because we're about to go into a boss battle against the Eye of Cthulhu here in just a bit. But let me clean out my inventory as well as my piggy bank, because I want to clean that out and, uh, you know, get some inventory space for... Uh, we can place it on platforms, so... I really need to place like platforms somewhere. Uh, oh, I can place it on the uh, the workbench right there. Perfect. So I can place it on. Man, get out of the way, Kyle. I'm trying to use my heckin' piggy bank right there. What are you doing? Man, I don't need to talk to you right now. Get out of the way. Oh, wait, there it was right there. There it is. Nice. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let me clean out my inventory as well as my. Oh, yeah, we got like six gold during that. Golly, yeah, that's pretty good, you guys. Sheesh. Uh, well, let's put all that up. That way uh, we don't lose it when we I can die from the Eye of Cthulhu, right? But uh, yeah, let, let me clean out my inventory as well as my piggy bank, and uh, I'll see you guys here in just a bit where we're going to go take on the Eye of Cthulhu for the third time, I think? Yeah, I think the third time, so I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Alright guys, I am back, and I cleaned out my inventory quite well right there, so that's good. I'm glad that I did that. Definitely want to do that more often, you guys. But uh, so I can get my... There you go, got my piggy bank. I have to carefully and precisely aim right there to make sure... Oh, I forgot to solidify us. Put that on the structures. There you go. Perfect. But now we've got a bunch of silt, so now our inventory is relatively empty. Let's actually get the silt, and let's just spam it right here. I emptied out all my money as well. We're getting amethyst diamond, gold ore, tin ore, platinum, silver, tungsten, emerald. Another diamond right there, I think. I don't know if that's the same one we had. And that's all of it right there. No, wait, ah, it might be the same diamond. We have two diamonds. Nice. Eight tungsten ore, three platinum ore. 5 tin, 3 iron, an emerald, 2 silver, 3 copper ore, 3 amethysts, uh, there's the Eye of Cthulhu that we spawn in here in just a bit, and 5 gold ore, and 4 lead ore, and 31 silver, 97 copper, so that's actually not too bad, honestly, like, the diamond, we've never seen them, and we got two of them right there, as well as an emerald, some more amethyst right there, but of course now we know amethyst is actually kind of low tier, it's like the lowest tier uh, gem out there, apparently, so. At least in terms of, uh, the hookshot thing, right? I don't know if that translates to the rest of the game, where, you know, it, it makes sense if that's the case. Amethyst being, like, the lowest tier gem, and Diamond being, like, the highest tier gem. I, I assume that translates throughout the entirety of the game. But we also have, uh, five Crimtain ore now, so we can make another ingot, I think, right? Uh, yep, there it is right there, Crimtain bar. And, uh, it's only three to make a bar, yep, nice. So, uh, make ourselves tungsten bars, platinum bars... Gold bars, of course. Or just one. <laughs> lead bars. Oh, and I guess lead is the same as iron, because I can make an, an, an anvil out of it. Okay. So lead is iron. Tin, I guess, would be copper, just by looking at this. Copper is the top. And I guess it goes from top to bottom as the best to worst. So tin, I guess, is the same thing as copper. And I assume uh, anything I can make out of copper, I can make it out of tin. And I don't know if I could use tin and copper to make the same thing. 
uh, like use like if I need like 10 copper to make something, I don't know if I could use five copper and five uh, tin to make that thing. But let's see. Is there any other Oh, iron right there? So what was uh, iron again? Lead? Lead is iron. Tin is copper. Uh, I think platinum is gold by the looks of things here, you guys. And tungsten is silver. Yeah, because they're like right next to each other there. Yeah. So tungsten short sword is 10 melee damage. Silver short sword is nine, so it's slightly better actually. Huh. I don't know if tungsten and silver are like the uh like the like the lead and the iron and the tin and the copper that we were talking about just a moment ago, so it might just be just another ore between silver and gold. Platinum short sword, gold short sword, 12, 13. So yeah, I don't know, I guess maybe gold is just a tier below platinum then? Which makes sense. And I assume there's something better than platinum. Probably the heckin' meteorite stuff, right? Which, apparently there's supposed to be a meteor, like a chance of a meteor, like, spawning in whenever we break a heart of, uh, uh, not a heart of Cthulhu. I don't know if that's actually a thing. It probably is. There's, like, different body parts that are spawning in. Jeez, there's, like, a brain and an eye now. <laughs> but there's, like, a chance every time we break a crimson heart that a... Oh, it's turning into daytime right now. Can we still... Let's, let's go Let's go right now. Because I, I don't want to... I don't want to... I'm, I'm just over here rambling, and I don't want to... Oh, wait... Oh, it's turning to daytime right now, man. Well, I'll take it out and it just changed over to let's see. Can I still do it? Ah, oh, it's too late. God, oh, I knew that was going to happen, man. I probably should have saved the silk stuff for a little bit later. That sucks. Oh, God. Well, I didn't see those slides. They just blended in with the heck and grass over here. Jeez. <laughs> well, that sucks. But yeah, I guess I guess I'll just go home and just meme around. Oh, God, what in the world? I don't know how I just fell right there. I must have been hitting the down button or something like that. <laughs> Jeez. Well, let's just go home and hang out a little bit. I mean, maybe I'll go fishing off camera. Uh, I, oh, I guess maybe I'll do some on camera. I did get some. Oh, yeah, I don't need to do that anymore, right? It automatically opens and closes. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know why. I, I guess it's just habit. <laughs> I always over here aiming at the thing. But yeah, I did get some comments from you guys saying, hey, uh, I actually do enjoy the, the fishing segments. They're, they're pretty relaxing and stuff. So, you know what? I guess I'll, I'll, I'll bring you guys along for the ride at least a little bit. I do want to turn so I know I have so yeah, there you go, worm. And let's let's grab some stars over here, falling stars. Yeah, we have six of those. So we have two worms. Yeah, we have a few more. Let, let's get like six night crawlers or whatever those things were called. That are like the upgraded version of worms. Oh man, there's like a gold bird right there. I don't know if I would have got ten gold. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, hold on. There it is. I can catch it. That thing's ten gold just flying around. I knew that was a gold heckin' bird. You dumb slime! Golly, I could've got- Yes! Gold bird! I got it! Ten gold! Don't mind if I do. I had a really good eye right there to notice that was a heckin' gold bird, not just like some bird that would just happen to be gold, right? Oh, that was the first time using the bow and arrow forever. Sheesh. Oh, oh it's just a regular blue one that just has a... Like, torches behind it. There we go, got it. Nice. Didn't even intend to use my heckin' bow and arrow right there, but hey, we got it. But yeah, we, we got a gold egg and bird. And there's a heck slime inside my thing. What? There's a bird head down here, too. Ugh. <laughs> oh, the slime got into my thing. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at how easy it is now to get inside of this place now. Man, you guys remember how hard that was earlier? Or, you know, 10 episodes ago, whatever by now. Jeez. Now our uh, painter guys out here shooting heckin' slimes with a paintball gun. Golly. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I guess I could have traded him and get my, uh, my gold, so... Uh, there you go, Mario. Uh, Marco. I keep calling him Mario, but Marco. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Starlit he Heaven wallpaper. That's something I wanted to have for my room, and I forgot to do it. So, yeah, let's buy some of that. I don't know how much I might need. So, I'll grab, I grab, like, uh, I don't know, 30. That might be fine. There you go. So, uh, I'll use that for my room. I assume you could just put that over the wood walls. You don't have to, like, replace it, maybe? I don't know. Just the name wallpaper, I assume that's what you could do with it. But Goldbird. Okay, so you can get eight gold out of it, so that's not too bad, I suppose. Uh, there's a regular bird right there. I guess I'll sell, so hey, take it. Don't mind if I do. There you go. Anything else in my inventory I want to get rid of? I don't think so. We got some iron right there just randomly from killing a slime, I think, so hey, I can't complain about that one bit. I know, let's go put up our, like, eight gold that we got right there and uh, the silver. There you go. So we have 55 gold and 66 silver. I did get some comments of you guys saying, yeah, you have a lot of money for where you are in the heckin' game, so... I guess that's a good thing, right? Oh yeah, and then our starlit uh, thing. So let's go up there and let's go uh, test that out. But also, I want to turn these night crawlers into. Uh, don't don't want to make that. Don't want to make the mana crystal because that's that's useless now. Enchanted night crawl. That's what it's called. Okay, so let's use that to make a few of those. And we still have four uh, things left over. So once we get back to the fishing shack, 
I guess I'll call that from now on. Oh, it, oh, it actually is replacing the background, though. That sucks. I thought I was just painting over it, or, uh, you know, putting wallpaper over it, but... I want to build around this, because I know that weird, whatever these symbols are, I know that's a background, so I don't want to break that, so... This is now my... Well, it's been my room. Oh, look at the birds in the background! But this has been my room for who knows how many episodes by now, but... Uh... Oh, what happened? Oh, I ran out! Man! Uh, probably ten more and I'm fine. Marco, get back here. Uh, let's get, like, ten more. That should be good. That That's actually more than I need, I think. Especially over here where, like, the bed and stuff are kind of blocking the way so you can't even see them anyways, so... There we go. And, uh... There we go. Even though you can't see it, I'll still put them there. And, uh, Oten's room, his his background kind of goes into that bit right there, so I guess I'll put my stars into this background, so... Oh, I'm, I'm missing a singular one? Where'd he go? Where's Marco at? Uh, I don't know, I have a UI on my screen, I can't see. <laughs> Where is he? Where's Marco? Marco Polo! There you are. <laughs> let's grab another wallpaper, just a singular one. And let's go place down the final one, and we're going to be good to go. With our, like, space-themed room over here, you guys. I, I like it. Does it twinkle? Or is it completely stationary? Uh, I think it's completely stationary. I don't think it's like this thing where it's, like, animated, so that sucks. Oh, it's, like, midday right now, so that's actually good. Maybe I'll go fishing for just a little bit until it actually turns to nighttime, and then when it actually turns to nighttime, we'll, uh, go do the heckin' uh, novel called a Crimson Boss Battle, but, uh, I have Cthulhu Boss Battle, so look at that. That's so easy. It's automatic and everything. Oh, uh, we got ten worms over here, so let's, uh, get... Uh, six enchanted night crawlers in total, so there you go. And uh, I'll just keep those in my inventory. 35% bait power, 15% fishing power. I guess we'll see how good this actually is, you guys. So, let's grab this. Boom. And uh, let's see if we get anything special right off the bat, like maybe any more crates. Oh, I, I did read some comments. Oh, a bass right there. Yeah, we're going to get a ton of them. I think I got like 85 bass and like 15 wooden crates. Or something. Iron crate? Ooh! So we're already getting, I don't know if that's my fishing rod, because it's, remember, it's, a, it's an iron, or a, I made it out of iron, but it, oh, man, that was too late. But it, it's a reinforced, I think is what it's called. Yeah, it's at the top of the screen, reinforced fishing rod. So I don't know if it's the fishing rod that's able to get the iron now, or if it's my nightcrawler bait, which we still have six right now. We haven't lost any right now, that's great. Nice, a little unintentional rhyme right there, again. And my bleeding butt down there is like distracting, uh... Oh, we still get wooden crates, though, so I guess I was, like, really lucky with the... What was it the second cast that we got the, uh, the iron crate right there? Nice! I assume it's way better loot than, uh, the wood. And I, uh, like I was saying earlier, I, I was... I think some of you guys said, yeah, they, they must have patched, like, the crates or something like that. I think people were saying that I should save my crates for hard mode, because apparently you could, like, open up crates in hard mode and they'd have like, hard mode items inside of them, and they'd just be better overall, but I feel like me just being so new to the game, so early in the game, I, I think opening the crates rather than saving them is definitely a, a lot better, at least for me. Maybe for you guys that are veterans, saving the crates may A fallen starfish? What? I feel like I've seen that before. Is that something we already had? No! It's a quest item! Did I see Simon ever talk about the fallen starfish? It seems familiar. I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe just because it says fallen star. It looks like a fallen star, but it's a fish. So I guess I guess I have to wait until I, I need to go check about what fish Simon wants right now. Because, you know, it's a new day. So uh, also, whenever it turns, I guess it turns it strikes midnight. Maybe it turns into a new day and I can talk to Simon again. But uh, let's continue fishing over here. And yeah, I definitely want to go. Uh, let's go. Let's go ice fishing, you guys. I, th I don't know if we can do it on the surface. We might have to do it underground in the tundra, which might take some time to get to. Either that or we can go to the Crimson Biome and just like kind of dig east or west or whatever. Uh, and, and find some water there and then go fishing and then hopefully get to Simon's thing. But we've already lost one majestic night crawler or whatever it's called. <laughs> so that sucks. We're down to five right there. But 35% bait power, that's actually decent. So there we go, another bass. Let me get another crate, be it iron or wood or whatever. And then... uh. From there, I guess we'll go to the tundra and see what we can catch over there. Maybe some, like, penguin fish or whatever else that <laughs> Simon's already talked about in the past. Oh god, what in the world is that? That was a slime on a balloon. That was kind of scary. That was coming at me like a hundred miles like an hour. Sheesh. <laughs> we lost another uh, enchanted nightcrawler thing right there, though. So that's, uh, what's happening over there to the right? 
something was getting killed. I think the slimes were killing the other uh, ladybugs. So that sucks. Yeah, I'm still hearing the, the smashing sounds over there. Sheesh. But let, let's continue fishing. And, uh, let's try and get another crate, you guys. Oh, there you go. Nice. Got a wooden crate right there. Not bad. Uh, there looks like a uh, recall potion inside of one of these slimes. I guess we'll uh, annihilate. <laughs> there you go. We got him. We got some, uh, some, I think ladybugs are, uh, fish bait too, right? So there you go. So might as well keep those in my inventory. Uh, we, we did lose half of our, uh, no, we, we still have four. So we lost a, a third of our bait over there. So not really the biggest deal in the universe, but let's remember to use our, uh, there you go. That thing too. Are those eyeballs in the ground? Is that what those are? Or are those bones? I don't know, but it's raining now. So anyways, let's continue to the right until we get to the tundra biome and then once we actually get to the tundra biome, let's actually, uh, I guess, dig underground or maybe see if there's any actual water in the tundra that we can go fishing at. Because I think Simon said underground in the tundra for some of those, maybe even all of them. So I guess we'll just go over there and see what we can find. OK, we're in the snow area right now, but I think it's like still tun or, uh, crimson because background did not change yet. And I'm only going to. Oh. Yeah, it's, oh, it was, I guess it was snowy just a moment. Yeah, there's a little bit of water right there. Can I even uh, fish here? I don't know if I can. Get the artery, there you go. <laughs> can I fish here? Is this a thing? Oh, wait. Let me wait until the back, there you go. The background changed. Is this going to be a thing? I don't know if it is. Look at me, look at me fishing right here. Now, yeah, let me get the artery now and get this guy. There you go. Got him, nice. And there's a fly and I can fish. <laughs> But, uh, I don't know if I could actually fish at this thing, you guys. I guess we'll see. Uh, man, flying, I can fish. Uh, I think that might be too shallow. Yeah, forget about that for right now. Uh, I guess we'll continue going to the right until we actually get to another uh, tundra biome background and then try and find some water and then, of course, see if we can actually find anything over here. But that's, that's good to know. Oh, wait. Ah, it's still crimson, though. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Nice. Oh, this is like... Whoa, a small mini desert? Wait, what? Why is there a desert background there? The the water is green. Oh. I guess. Hold on, let's see. Where is it going to be? The Here your winter background. That way it's not. Oh, God, flying fish. What? Are you kidding me, you dumb and flying fish? I'm trying to fish you guys. You guys are flying with your reckon wings over here. Jeez, drinking Red Bull like you're sponsored or something. Sheesh. <laughs> And let's go fishing now. Let's see if we can actually find a uh, any quest fish in this area. Atlantic cod is that is that okay? That's just a so I guess bass. You you find in the the freshwater area that we were at just a moment ago. Well, I guess you can still get them over here, but Atlantic cod in a random heckin' lake right there—that's kind of crazy, you guys. <laughs> but let's let's continue fishing over here. Oh, ah, we lost a bait. Oh, there's another flying heckin' fish, man. I need to build. I need to build a uh, another fishing shack. Right? I'm, I'm actually going to do that, just so I'm, I'm left alone, and I don't have to worry about hacking creatures coming over here and ruining my fishing spot. Yep. So, where do they go? There they are down there. Oh, do I not have the thing on? Oh yeah, I put it up, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, we, oh, the only light we. Oh god, it's like a snowstorm right now. Ooh, that is crazy. My bit rate. Hopefully, my bit rate is good enough for the video where it doesn't look like a huge heckin' blur right now. Sheesh. Uh, but I already have a huge heckin' bit rate for uh, these videos anyway, so hopefully it's going to be fine. It's not going to be... Hopefully it doesn't turn out blurry, because usually when snow happens in YouTube videos, everything gets all blurry. <laughs> but I guess we'll cut down these two trees, right? Or three trees. I don't, I don't know about the tree that's on the edge if I want to cut that one down, but... Boreal wood. Ooh. And there's... Uh, you know what? There's some trees that are left. I kind of want to keep that tree right next to the water. It's kind of symbolic looking. And some zombies over here. Frozen zombies. Nice. There you go. And... There you go, nice. Did they change the name of them? I thought they were called, like, Eskimos or something like that. I guess maybe they changed the name of them. Anyways, let's cut down these trees over here. There you go, get even more wood. There you go. There's another heckin' like, demon eye right here. Take care of him. It's so crazy how these guys are, like, actually a miniature version of, an a, a, like, an actual boss. Uh, I'll open up the iron crate once we get home. Same thing with the wooden crate. But, uh, for, oh, what in the world? Cherries? Where did I get that? I guess from a plant or something like that, huh? Uh, I can make a workbench out of those, but for right now, I guess I'll just make a... Where do I make the backgrounds, though? Oh, yeah, I need to make a work... I, I need to place down the workbench to do that, and then you can see the backgrounds, which are... Yeah, wood walls. So I do need to make a few of these. 
Then uh, we can make, while we have the workbench already out, let's get the two wood doors. There you go. And I think that's basically it. Wood table, work. Oh, these actually look really good. I might actually make some of my, uh, we can even make a, look at that one. That even has like horns, like a heckin' Viking helmet right there, you guys. That's really cool. I like that. Unintended, of course, because of, you know, snow. <laughs> but let's uh, build the walls. Oh, yeah, let's, uh, let's build them a couple more. There we go. That should be fine. Can I get rid of this back? Oh, yeah, I need to get the hammer. If I get rid of this, is it going to be floating back there? It is. Okay. That's, that's, that's actually kind of good. I can actually save some of my, uh, my walls by not putting them up there. So that's great. So now we've got another fishing hole over here, you guys. Another fishing hut. Now we can go fishing over here nice and safe-like. So, ba-boom. Look at that. I like it. Nice and safe. I can go fishing over here not get bothered by heckin' frozen zombies and other stuff. And, uh, well, maybe I'll place some torches over here just so I can light it up. Because even during the night... Oh, wait, yeah, it is nighttime right now. Let, let's go Let's go do the uh, boss battle. Man, I got so distracted during that, you guys. Golly. But at least now I have another fishing hole. But let's go home. Let's go open up these two boxes... Or three boxes. One iron, two wood. Another Atlantic cod. Okay. Let, let's wait until we get at least one more crate. I'm, I'm greedy as heck. And it's going to be daytime by the time we get home. Golly. I'm like a magic mirror back home, but... Let's get another crate, because <laughs> I know you guys love these magic crates, and so do I. Or mystery crates. I'm like, they they do have kind of magic inside on too, right? <laughs> but there you go. Oh, man, another iron. Yeah, I'm going back home. No problem. All right, after that, golly. Uh, there you go. I don't know why I scrolled the other direction, because, oh, yeah, I completely forgot that my, uh, my bedroom has the stars right there. I like that. That's really cool. I like how unique these rooms are getting. I did get a comment from someone a, w a little while ago saying, yeah, you need, you should make your... Like, NPCs have, like, separate houses instead of, like, uh, like, just one big house and separate rooms. I don't know if that's, like, any better or, or, like, a personal preference or if there's actually a difference in doing that. I don't know if that's actually a thing. But I guess for right now, I'll just continue building my house, like, upwards and... Oh, God! Oh, I thought that was a, a gold, a goldfish, but it's just a goldfish. So, I'll still get the same... Oh, another one right there. It's, like, it's so crazy how a goldfish walking on land with its heckin' fins and stuff... It's completely normal. No one even bats an eye at that. <laughs> like, I, I saw that, like, episode one or something like that, and I was, like, freaking out over how stupid that was. <laughs> but, anyways, uh, let's open up the iron... Hold on. Uh, let me empty out my inventory a little bit, just so I don't get distracted by anything uh, already in my inventory thing. And, oh, man, did I get a goldfish from that thing? So, let me, let me put up some random stuff here. Okay, yeah, we're good. Let's open up the wood ones first, just for dramatic effect. <laughs> so, how do I do that? Just right-click. Apprentice bait. Oh! Okay, not bad. Four apprentice bait, six lesser healing potions. None too shabby. And a mining potion right there, too. None too shabby, do. Now, the first iron crate ever. What are we going to get from it? Oh, yeah, let me put up my money, too. Just in case we get money, I can actually see how much we get. So, four gold. Golly, how did I get that much? Sheesh. But, uh, let's see. What are we going to get from our first iron crate? Nine iron bars, ten healing potions, and six gold. Ooh, I'm glad I put the gold up right there. I wouldn't have even noticed that, you guys. We have 64 or 65 gold now. Golly. That's amazing. Let's see. Uh, we have iron, uh, blah, blah, blah. We got 300 potions and 9 gold right there. Oh, my gosh. That's really good. Holy heck. <laughs> Don't mind if I can do these. These iron crates are so good. I need to go fishing way more often. Up to 74. How many are we getting total right there? Like 14 gold? Or something like that? Golly, that's good. Jeez. Anyways, we got worms actually crawling in my house and it's disgusting me, so. Uh, oh yeah, let's uh, sort. There you go. I also got a comment from someone saying that I'm like, like extremely organized compared to them, so. Hopefully, uh, my organization over here doesn't make you too jealous. But let me put up all the stuff that we got right there. Uh, mainly potions. And, uh, there you go. Uh, let's go do the other boss battle. I don't know what to, to do with the, uh, I guess I'll put the bait up and the night crawls up over there. So that's going to be that. What do we have right now? We have the mining helmet, so let's switch that over to the silver helmet so we do the extra damage. We already have the campfires over there. We have our mini shark right there. We have our demonic artery. I think we're pretty well set. All we need to do now is eat some, uh, cooked fish. Get that buff going. And I think we'll be f just fine for this, uh, this upcoming boss battle. This is long. Oh, and this is a little bit of a I guess, foreshadowing with that demonic eye floating right there, jeez. <laughs> I don't know where it is day in, in the nighttime cycle right now, but I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's do this. Wait, how do I do this? Can I not? Hold on. Uh, How do I do this? Do I? Oh, I might have to. 
This might be the thing I can only do in the crimson biome, right? Hold on. Was that the thing? I think it might have been. Because I remember someone saying, either in the comments or it was Kyle or someone, I can't even remember anymore. <laughs> but I think the two battles we've done against the... No, yeah, the Eye of Cthulhu, he, we battled him like right here, didn't we? Hold on. Yeah, let me go look this up because I'm very curious about this. Uh, I'm reading it right now. It doesn't say anything like specific to like the Crimson Mime. It just says at night. Is it not nighttime right now? It might be like confusing me with the rain. Making me think it's nighttime when it's actually daytime. I think that might be what's going on right now, you guys. Hold on. I think it's turning to daytime right now. It feels like it's getting lighter. Maybe. Man, that sucks if that's the case. I don't know where the sun is right now. But well, the background... Oh god, there's a flying fish made their way inside of here. <laughs> there you go. And that, thankfully the one on the bottom can't get inside of here. This is actually like a huge heckin' structure over here, you guys. It's crazy. Alright guys, I'm back. I decided to go fishing again over here in the ice area. Just to kind of let the... What?! Oh my god! A golden crate?! What are the heckin' odds? I come back... Immediately a golden crate! Okay, I'm not going to complain about that at all, but either way, it's nighttime. I just saw the heckin' moon in the middle- There it is right there. It's nighttime. Let's go do the second boss battle. Uh... One golden crate. Oh my gosh. Let's open a... And I also got some other uh, wooden crates right there. Let's put it up over here in the, the rare stuff chest, I guess I can call this. At least for right now. Uh, we have a bunch of fish and stuff I I'll worry about a little bit later. We got a bunch of, like, dagger fish and stuff like that. Nothing new, I don't think, so... Uh, I don't think I need to really worry about these. I guess I'll put these up as well. And then, uh, lens in the... there. And I think that's it. Okay. Let's go to the bass bottle... Not bass. Jeez, I just did a bunch of boss... or a uh, bunch of fishing right there. Boss battle arena. <laughs> I think I kind of combined boss and battle to make bass, but I was also fishing a bunch of bass, right? But... Let's go over here now. Let's get, let's get, I guess, close that. Let's clean out the zombies and anything else that might already be over here. And, uh, there you go. It looks like it's clean. Oh, God. Okay, it actually worked that time. Oh, my gosh. I have Cthulhu has been awoken. Let's shoot him a bunch of times with our freaking gun. Oh, one little I have Cthulhu right there. A fallen star as well. Let's zoom out a little bit. Hold on. Oh, God. I was hitting the, the zoom out button right there. But we're doing some heckin' good damage. Let's, let's go to our, uh, Oh my god, we're poking, we're jabbing him in the eye right there with a heckin' yo-yo and doing some actual good damage. Oh my gosh. That's actually pretty decent. And now we have, uh, his, his eye of, uh, fallen, uh, what are they called again? Demon eye. Companion, minion, whatever you want to call those things. He's down to half health right now. Oh yeah! When he gets to half health, he goes to, like, mouth mode or whatever you want to call that. And then, is this, is it? Is it this? It is! And he goes into mouth mode. I don't know what's doing more DPS. I need to make that, like, training dummy or whatever it was. The yo-yo that's, like, upgraded. Oh, God, I forgot to, uh, eat a, eat a, eat a cooked fish. Whoops. Oh, God, yeah, look at that. I love this new boss health bar. It's so good. And we do, we're doing crits and stuff over here, doing 42, 46 damage. We, oh, my God, he has such a sliver of health on his little health bar down, or health bar down there. But his boss health bar at the bottom still had a ways to go, and there we go. We, man, the Eye of Cthulhu is so much nothing now. He spawns in, like, no minions. The, the king slime spawned in a, a ton of slime minions. The heckin' brain of Cthulhu has so many... I, I still don't know what he spawned in because I didn't really pay too much attention to that. I was too busy trying to not die, but of course I did die. <laughs> At least once. So, uh, there's still one Eye of Cthulhu companion minion guy down there, but don't need to worry about him. Let's see what we got from the 76 Crim Tainor. Nice. Another Eye of Cthulhu mask? What are the odds of that dropping? Because I got it twice now from defeating him twice. Uh, 1 in 7 chance. Okay, so a 14% chance of it dropping. It happened twice in a row now, so that's pretty heckin' crazy that that even happened, but still. Uh, two Crimtain seeds, which we could use for something, I don't know. I, I haven't gotten any, uh, like, planting, gardening, or anything. Like, the only of that I've actually done is planting down, like, a blueberry bush, and then planting down acorns to get trees. 12 lesser healing potions. Is there anything else? I did get gold. Three gold, I think. I don't know if I clean out my inventory of, uh, gold before coming over here, but hey. That's actually pretty decent loot right there, you guys. 76 second Crimtain Ore. I think it's either three or four. I think it actually is 
four. It might just be three. I don't know. Golly. <laughs> but that, that's still going to be a lot of heck and crimtain ingots either way. Like, once we get the flesh or whatever that we need to make the, uh, the pickaxe, I need to... You know, I'm going to go talk to... What is his name? Uh, Kyle. I'm going to go talk to him, give him a crimtain ingot, and see what you need to make the pick. Let's, let's go talk to Kyle. Let's go give him a crimtain ore or ingot or something like that. Let's actually give him an ore and see what he says about that. Let's zoom back in now. But yeah, I definitely do want to zoom out for a boss battles. Might even zoom all the way out, to be quite honest. Oh, let's go see what uh, Simon has to say. What, what fish does he want today? Nice little rhyme right there. Demonic heckfish. Ooh. Cotton caverns. I guess we could go fishing in caverns. We've we've seen a lot of water down here. Like look at this, like uh like right here is a really good fishing spot. I guess it. Nah, not really. Uh, like where the minecart. Yeah, like right here. I guess right here where the minecart is. It's nice wide open, so you can throw a. F and right here, really good spot right there. Yeah, that's actually like the best. Huh? Over here, I don't know if these are deep enough. I don't, I don't know how deep it has to be for it to actually uh, be fishable, if that's a word. <laughs> But oh yeah, another thing I noticed on the minimap is that it shows the spawn point right there, which is kind of cool. It's like a green arrow pointing down, and also if I double click, it makes a little ping right there. So I guess if I'm pointing out something, and uh, I want to say, uh, I don't know, <laughs> look at look, look at this torch right there. Then hey, there you go, pings right there. You could even zoom out and it's still pinging, and it goes away after a little while. Like yeah, like right there, that one just went away right there. So it's not it's not like a permanent sort of meme. So I don't think I need to worry about that, but. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll put up the, uh, the Crim Crimson Eye of Cthulhu mask. Uh, is there anything else I need to put up here? I think I'm fine. All right, nice. Let's go downstairs. Let's go smelt our ingots. Uh, Crimson Bar. Okay, so it is three for one bar. And we've got 26. We've got 31 in total. Golly, that's good. We can get another yo-yo if you want. But we already have a really good one right now, so I don't think I need to do that. Uh, we can already make Gold Helmet. That's 25. And... I can make either gold helmet or gold greaves, and that'd be four defense, but then I'd have, like, basically no gold after that. And speaking of gold, we do have the golden crate, and we do have eight railer wood crates. D didn't get any iron crates, surprisingly, but let's go talk to Kyle. Did I put it up right there? I did. Okay, let's, there we go. Uh, where'd Kyle go? There he is right there. I wonder if I can change his clothes. Uh, that way I can make him, because he kind of blends in with the background a little bit. So, uh, what was I doing? Crafting? And let's give him crimtain. Okay, oh, and, and it even shows you how much you need, okay, so, tissue sample, that's what it's called, tissue sample, isn't that the same thing we needed for the, I might be able to pull that out of this, yes, the vertebrae, Dr. Kyle crafting, give me the vertebrae, uh, no, it's vicious powder, and, I don't know, maybe, uh, the tissue sample sounds familiar, because that's what I read in the comments, but, Either way, uh, let's go back to Crimtain ore or ingot. Uh, let's go. Can I get the big? I guess I can't get the big menu out. I guess I have to scroll through it. Okay, that sucks. But either way, uh, the pick. Where is that at on this? That would be right there. So I need t uh, six tissue sample and twelve ingots, and we already have thirty-one, so we're fine on that. Flesh grinder, F the meatball. <laughs> I can that. That is. What is that? It's like a ball and chain sort of meme. I thought for a second I thought it was a hook, a uh, hook shot thing, but it's called the meatball. Thirty-five melee damage. I need five flesh and ten crimtain ore, and then of course we have the artery right there. I guess this is some sort of short to medium range melee. I'd have to guess. I don't think it's going to be as long as like the 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 hook shot because that that's a pretty good long range, medium to long range right there. This is probably short to medium if I had to guess, uh, but. Let's see what else we have here. The flesh grinder, that also requires the tissue sample. And all the armor... Yeah, all the armor requires tissue sample. The blood butcherer does not require tissue sample. I think we made that and it was like garbage. So it <laughs> feels like uh, they're like highly nerfed or something stupid. So that sucks. And then the blood lust cluster. I'm like, I could probably make those just because we have a decent amount right now. And then we have the flesh catcher for eight. So we, we have 31 right now. We can, we can make the... And then there's the tendon bow right there that almost doubles our bow because we have 11 right now i think yeah with the gold bow then we can get the we get the axe for some reason to do more damage and as well as cut down trees a little bit better and you know so we could do some damage with that 22 melee damage compared to 
18 of our point of katana, but like, I'm like, it is a little bit better than the demonic artery, right? But it's not going to be quite as crazy good as the demonic artery. And then we have the blood butcherer. These are almost the same. The blood butcherer is at least a fast speed, so that's good. Slow speed for the axe. Average knockback for both. So, yeah. And if we want to make the armor, that'd be 15 for the helmet, 25 for the chest piece, and 20 for the boots. So, similar to the silver, it's not as quite as expensive as the, uh, the gold, so that's good. But we still need to get that tissue sample, which I really wish that uh, Kyle told you how to get those. But unfortunately, I can't check that. Man. But yeah, seems like, yeah, more stuff appeared in this little uh, little book over here. Uh, creatures that we've come across, so that's good. Uh, and then, oh yeah, then King Slime. I have Cthulhu, Servant, oh, Servant of Cthulhu. So it's not even an eye, uh, Demon Eye. Hold on, what's the difference? Demon Eye spawns at night. Uh, that's just another Demon Eye, I guess. Yeah, there are like three different variants that you can find. And this is what uh, they look like. And then the Servant of Cthulhu. It's slightly smaller, ever so slightly smaller. I have Cthulhu, a piece of Cthulhu ripped from his body centuries ago in a bloody war. It wanders the night seeking its host body and revenge. Well, I killed three, or I killed two. Spawned in three of them, so who knows how many eyes Cthulhu actually has, or had. <laughs> anyway, so, oh god, there's a lot of stuff here. 2800 health, 15 attack, 12 defense. You get three gold for defeating him, so that's cool. And, uh, oh, this is cool. It actually, in-game, shows you the percentages. So, yeah, there's the Eye of Cthulhu mass that I just said. Yeah, it was a 14% chance, a 1 in 7 chance. So, that's cool. Then you get 100% uh, chance of getting 30 to 90 Crimtain Ore. 100% chance of getting 1 to 3 Crimson Seeds. Binoculars? Wait, why would I want these? Can't I just zoom out? Or maybe the, I guess maybe the, the mystery fog that kind of gets uncovered around you while you're, like, mining and stuff. I guess I'll show that here in just a bit. I guess that gets uncovered a little bit better when you have these uh, in your inventory, so that's cool. Then what is this right here? The Eye of Cthulhu Trophy. Ooh, and that's something that's brag-worthy, but you guys already know the deal. I'm not bragging. I'm not one to brag. I wouldn't do that. King Slime, of course, we defeated him. Do we uh have the brain of Cthulhu on this one, or does that not happen if you don't defeat him? Uh, blue Jellyfish, Cave Bat. I guess it doesn't show him unless you've defeated the guy. Uh, yeah, I, she's not here at all. So, I, I, it looks like it only shows the unlocked stuff first. Uh, I don't know if it's like in the order of uh, unlocking or what. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I don't think so, because I've clearly seen green, green slimes before I've seen penguins. But either way, uh, back here, let's look at the Keem slime. Let's see what he says. Or his little... Oh, he's like... He, oh, he's a two-star boss. Two-star boss for Eye of Cthulhu. Now, what's a one-star boss, then? Is there even a one-star boss? Primero is a one star, uh, whatever you call this, Antlines, uh, one star, Tomb Crow, how is that a one star? 60 health, 18 attack, yeah, they do good, damn, wait, hold on, is this the big one, or is this a small one? Uh, I think that's the big one, yeah, Tomb Crawler, I don't know where the small one is, is it, if it's even here, that is, is it even here? I don't know, I, oh yeah, I don't think I've even come across them yet, Mother Slime, uh, found in the caverns, no other information about them, Jeez. Uh, then the face monster, 70 health, low knockback, 25 attacks, so they actually have more attack than the... Where is it? Oh, wait, one in the world. I guess the blood crawlers have even more attack than the face reveal monsters, golly! 25 attack, and then the, the spider guys have 30, but they have less defense. 10 for the face reveal guys, 8 for the spider guys. Two star rating for this, two star rating for the face monster, of course, one for the Crimea. Okay, and the ghost. We've only ever seen him in the graveyard. Yeah, I guess that's one of the biomes that you could actually, like, make. So that's actually kind of cool. Need to figure out where I'm going to build that, though. Oh, yeah, how much health does this guy have? Yeah, okay, so the Eye of Cthulhu does have 2,800 health compared to 2,000 of the King Slime. So I guess that's maybe why he's more of a, a first boss, because he has less health. His armor rating is 10 compared to 12, yeah. Attack is 40, though, compared to 15, so... That's actually kind of surprising. That's a pretty high heckin' attack for this guy. Sheesh. And of course, he spawns in all those slimes that are just annoying nuisances. They're not really the biggest threat in the universe. Slimes normally aren't intelligent, but occasionally they'll merge together to become a powerful force to swallow all things. And yeah. Is that a... What is that in there? I thought it was an NPC or something. I don't know what that is. There's something or someone. Like, inside of the king slime, like, controlling him or was eaten by him or something. I don't know what the lore behind him is. 10% drop of a King Slime trophy, 
25% drop of a slimy saddle. Someone's a rideable slime mount. Ooh. Yeah, we need to get a slime mount. Oh, and once again, a 1 in 7 chance of a mask of the boss that you just defeated. Ninja Hood is okay, so it's not really the biggest deal in the universe that I got a Ninja Hood. It's a 1 in 3. So a 33% and then everything else is 33 for the shirt, the pants. Slime Hook is also a 33%. That's actually kind of surprising. Uh, 66.7, uh, you know, two-thirds chance of getting the slime gun. Of course, we got that one. And you always get a solidifier. 